Right, so this is Broad Arrow classic cars and there are plenty of MGs near, although they do a bit of everything. This one looks like it's been there a little while. British Racing Green, it's a 2.8 automatic. Well today we're down at Hapney Green Airfield, we had to go nearby and looking on the map this was only a short hop away so we thought we'd come and have a look around and just see what's here. This used to be an RAF base during the Second World War. I did see an old Jet Provost parked over there so I think we'll go and find that and have a closer shifty at that. Everywhere you look at places like this there are signs of the old wartime activity. We've got the old buildings here repurposed. Back in the day there would have been jeeps and all sorts of things bustling around here. There's that Jet Provost that we saw from over in the car park area. These were a very popular sort of trainer, a jet trainer for the RAF back in the day, back in the 60s and 70s. This one looks like it's been there a little while. Let's have a bit of a closer shifty at this. XW434 is there. So registration on this particular one. Presumably it flew in here back in, I don't know, it looks like probably 1980s I would have thought. Excellent visibility out of this cockpit, plenty of glazing. I say it must have been quite a bustling place back in the day. Still the old window frames. Lots of little businesses use these buildings now. We've got a Land Rover, Range Rover and Discovery Specialist, Transmission Specialists. But over here, in a bid to keep some car content in this particular video, we appear to have a Jaguar XJ. Is it an XJ6 or an XJ12? Ooh, it's a Series 1 2.8. Very nice. Doesn't actually look in bad condition at all. And in front of that, we've got a Jensen Healy. Yeah, Series 1, short wheelbase. So H registration, so mid production, I suppose, for the Series 1s. In this building here we appear to have a classic car business. There's an MG badge on the wall over there which gives the game away a little bit. Broad Arrow Classic Cars, Repairs and Restoration. And there's a door open. Might just have to investigate this one. Right, so this is Broad Arrow Classic Cars and there are plenty of MGs near, although they do a bit of everything. MGs and V8 conversions etc. So this one over here then, so this is the, this is a conversion then of yes. a GT. So this is having to work. So what state was this in when you... Bad. Was it bad, yeah. was it? <laughs> Full body restoration. All oh, right. Wow. So how long's... Painted. So how long's this one been going on for? Um, about six months. All oh, right. So not forever then. It's not been... It's not like ten years or something, you know. <laughs> Some of them are, aren't they? But that's, that's really neat, isn't it? Wow. 
So is this a 3.5 or 3.9 or so it's three and a half is it? Right. Wow. <laughs> and here we've got a V8. So what's this one then? It's this is a factory V8, right, right. Because there was also the Costello V8, wasn't there? Yeah. <laughs> but which one came first? Was it the Costello that came first? Was it right? Do you think that prompted BL to have a go at doing their own, or? I don't know. Or was it just that the MGC wasn't doing that great? Well, it didn't do brilliantly, did it? No. No. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't great timing. So is this a fully rebuilt engine then? Is it? No, it's still the top end of the camshaft because yeah. camshafts wear out really bad on them. Do they? Oh, right, right. So yeah, uh, I, yeah, I had a P5B once, and that was a little bit, a little bit ticky. Yeah. <laughs> this was bad. Was it? Yeah. Well, the thing's never been apart before. Well, no, well, that's not bad. Can. You can't really complain at that then. Can. So what year is it? Enreg. So what's that? Seventy-four. Right, right. No, it's a very, no, no, it's a very original. <laughs> it's a very original car, actually, isn't it? It looks because so many of them have been got out now, haven't they? No, that's, that's great. That is. And this one, so we've this got a roadster. Bought it and we've got to sort this out for it because this has been partial. Are they? Wow. That's what I love about these old airfields, I'm into the aircraft. Yeah. But you see so many interesting little businesses in the old RAF buildings, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, right. Oh, bad. Is it? Yes. <laughs> so what's all with this God, no, air good. filter arrangement? I mean, that's, yeah, never, that's not, yeah, they, they weren't like that, were they? This is very rough. <laughs> very rough. So, yeah, we'll just take it apart and start again. Really? Yeah. So is this, presumably, this, is this a... So this is a car that someone's built up a while yeah, back then, isn't it? Because they didn't do a Roadster V8, no. did they? The factory? No, it was just the GTs, wasn't it? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it goes on a lot, doesn't it? Yeah. I don't know. Now we're going to put a Mazda, we buy the Mazda gearboxes now. Yeah. What? What? Which ones? The. No. No. Right. 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 Cool. So, yeah. Gearboxes straight into the back of that engine. Hmm. Well, wow. it? it'll work though, won't it? Fantastic. Is it? <laughs> that's really yeah, interesting, that. Well, and presumably that's a midget under there. Oh, right. Oh, right. So you keep it all. Oh, whack. So we've got a work in progress MGB GT. Yeah, this is how it is. Cells, floors, wings. Wow. Shall <laughs> In the front wings. Did, did you know it was bad to begin with, or is it one of those sort of things that snowballed? Or no, no, right. bad, you knew it was bad. Right. But not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> Once you start digging it, that's it. Yeah, it gets when you go to the shop, last and you see what comes back. Yeah, but that's the only way of knowing really what you're up against, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it's pretty much all the bulkhead rebuilt in a wings of it. Wow. It's all been done, aren't so. Yeah. Wow. All in there. Wow. In the wings. All the bulkhead rebuilt in that corner. Yeah. Air dry. Wow. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's yeah, sort of. Bad. Yeah, there's no halfway house really, is there? You either do it all or yeah, you never start. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's really interesting. Any idea what the building was used for originally, or? We don't, because this was just a training airfield. Was it? Yeah. Right. But you no. won't find the information on it. No. Because it was a bit top secret. Oh right. No. We've got a bee out here. Is this one for doing later, is it? Yeah, yeah so we're going to do some of that one. Oh, here's Dan. <laughs> well, that was an interesting look around Broad Arrow Classic Cars. They're based down at Hapney Green Airfield here near Wolverhampton. So if you need any work doing on your old car, pop in here and have a word. All right, let's go and have a look around the rest of the airfield. Of course, whenever you got on a wartime airfield, there would have been old hangars. Unfortunately, they're still here and they're still in use for the job they were originally built for. You can see this is a place that's going to be worth a return visit. I believe there's a cafe somewhere, so we'll go and have a look and see if we can find where that is. Yeah, there's loads of the original old buildings still here. I'm guessing this is the old toilet block. All the glamour. Let's, let's 
have a look inside this hangar. I had a word with a gentleman and he said it'd be okay to have a, a quick shifty. Oh, plenty of micro lights. This, is, like I say, is one of the old hangars. Wonder what gems would have been stored in here 70, 80 years ago. You can see just how wide these doors were designed to open to fit in aircraft with quite wide wingspans. You've got the frames up there, the doors would have slid along. And you've got the tracks in the ground here still. Where the doors would have slid along, obviously they don't need to come this far out now. So as you come gradually more and more out, they gradually become more and more mossy because they've not really been used and there's the stop. I just love the atmosphere of these old airfields. So many little businesses here now, so many little glimpses into the past. Even the sort of fairly forgotten little buildings like this, they've all got a link to the original purpose of this airfield, which of course was for the training up of air crew back in World War II. Another one of the old hangars here, again, with the very wide opening doors. I don't think we're allowed through there. There's the stop for the doors so they don't open too far, and there's the little tracks that would have been used. And the doors had to be open fully. Right, let's go and see if we can find where we are allowed to go, because we don't want to get in anyone's way. There's a real mix of newer buildings like this, and older, repurposed buildings like this one. Sounds of aircraft being fired up. There's a little one flying over, a little Cessna. Fabulous little place this is. Windy now. The Tower Cafe. This setup looks very similar to Sleep, where part of the control tower building has been converted to a cafe. And you can watch the goings on while having a cup of tea. All seems very civilised, let's go and have a look inside. The real mix of the old and the new here, we've got the old building, but with a new frontage but an old wooden door. More facilities. I don't 
think anyone round here eats the apples. Now it's just around here, that XJ, so I'm going to have another quick look at that because uh, it did look like quite a nice car actually. It's a 2.8, so the straight six. These were a bit prone to melting pistons back in the day. There's that Jensen Healy, looks like a bit of a work in progress. But yeah, it's British Racing Green, it's a 2.8 automatic on an H reg. It doesn't actually look too bad, at least from the top. Just peek in there, it's a bit, bit of condensation. Hopefully, this car has a future. Not quite sure what that is. Is it MGB? Maybe, I don't know. Well, let's have a look at the Jaguar. It's clearly been sitting here a little while, there's a bit of moss growing. And it's a fairly early XJ as well because it's got the reflectors and the reversing lights combined. After a little while, the Series 1s, the reflectors were moved to below the rear lights down here. But the first cars had them in there and they also had the chrome rimmed uh, instruments. I'm not quite sure what this one's got, but it's a nice car. Definitely wants rescuing. It doesn't look too bad. It's a shame about that damage on the door. But the paint looks very original. It's a very straight looking car. I mean, this would polish up really nicely. They all tend to go around the screens, and this one's no different, unfortunately. But hopefully, it'll get restored sooner rather than later. Not quite sure what this old building would have been used for. Can't see much in there. And these may have been used as tie downs for the aircraft in the war, but if you know different, please let me know. But that'll be my first guess seeing those. So, a quick look around here, see if there's anything. A few signs Danger Midlands Electricity Board. Uh, maybe that's what this was like a some sort of substation, perhaps. Right, let's carry on. Well, we're now going to head towards, there's a bit of an antique centre here. We've seen it on TV a couple of times, but we've never visited. So we're going to have a look at that. So we'll uh, just divert around past the Jet Provost. We're going to have a look, see if there's any goodies within the antique centre that's here on site. It's in one of the old RAF buildings over the back here. That's a quite impressive looking sculpture. Reminds me of some of the things you see around the former Soviet states. That's really cool. Right, well, let's go and look at this antique place. That's a memorial to the Apney Green Air Scout Group. May have to get these uh, old traffic lights, I'm not quite sure what they're for or what they're from, but great wear on them so I think I think we'll be taking those home with us. Oh well, we've had a mooch around the antique centre so I think we'll probably call it a day and head back home. A couple of little gems we got this intriguing traffic light set which I'm not quite sure what that would have been used for. I did wonder if it'd be off an O gauge railway but I think it's too big for that. That's quite neat and Junior bought this uh, recovery truck. No doubt this will appear on Harley's car traction channel at some point. 
very bonny little truck indeed so thanks very much for watching please check out some of the other videos there you go some of the other videos that are on the channel and more like this along very very soon so bye for now <laughs>